Hey, Bible reading today, I'm in Nehemiah 4, 5, and 6. We see the wall of Jerusalem being rebuilt. We see that come to completion in only 52 days. Chapter 4, we see Sambalat, which is the governor of the area just north of Judah. He is angry about the wall being rebuilt. They're mocking Nehemiah and what he's doing. One of the other leaders says, that stone wall would collapse even if a small fox walked upon it. I prayed that their mocking would fall back upon them. They continued to pursue. They continued to make plans to attack. The people complained. Nehemiah pushed. He protected by putting guards throughout the uh, rebuilding process, and he encouraged. God frustrated the plans of those who had planned to attack. Half the builders worked and half the builders stood guard. The, uh, they worked with one hand and held their weapon with their other hand. All the builders had a sword strapped to their belt. The military or law enforcement, they had weapons strapped to their side as they were working alone. Now in chapter five, it continues, we see that Nehemiah, he defends the oppressed people. The big families, they didn't have enough food or some people were complaining about they've mortgaged their farms and their homes so that uh, they could pay their taxes and other things such as that. Nehemiah calls all the nobles together. He says, this isn't the time to charge interest against your own people. Verse 12, the people respond, we will give back everything and demand nothing more from the people. We will do as you say. I calls all the priests together and repeats this message in front of them and in front of the nobles and he shakes his robe and he says, if you don't do this, God will shake you off just like I'm shaking off this robe. Nehemiah did, he didn't use his daily food allowance for his household that was an allowance given by King Artaxerxes. He didn't do that and he had up to 150 people that he was responsible for in his house. Sambalat, he sends a message to Nehemiah saying, hey, let's meet up. And Nehemiah knows he's out to do him harm. Nehemiah replies, I'm busy. I've got a wall to build. I don't have time for you. Sambalat sends this message four different times. On the fifth time, he says, there's a rumor going around that you're going to rebel and you're going to make yourself king. I suggest that you meet with me. It's eight. Nehemiah responds, there is no truth in any part of your story. You are making up the whole thing. They were just trying to intimidate Nehemiah and the people of Judah. Sambalat hired even a prophet to go and tell Nehemiah, go to the temple, bolt the doors, for your enemies coming to kill you tonight. Nehemiah knew that, and he realized that this wasn't from God, that God hadn't spoken to this prophet. 52 days, the wall's finally complete. That happened so fast, the neighboring nations, the enemy nations, realized that this had to be done by God. This has been a blessing to you. Like and subscribe and share. Again, this is just a small synopsis of my daily Bible reading. I pray that you would join me, become a daily Bible reader. It's easy to get into Proverbs. Today's the 24th. You could read Proverbs 24 today, Proverbs 25 tomorrow and continue uh, reading the Gospels 